pomp. Hello all. Um, thought I'd best make a, a video. Let's turn the squelch up on this. Thought I'd best make a video. I've had a few uh, people contact me or send me messages to ask if I'm still alive and kicking, as it were. I'll have to alter a lot on this. It's a bit. Uh, it's a bit bright. Come on. Oh, holding it upside down. That doesn't help, does it? That's better. Um, yeah, I've had a few messages from people uh, wishing me well and uh, seeing if I'm still alive because I, I haven't put any YouTube videos up for some time now. Um, basically, the reason being is because um, I haven't had any radios to review. In fact, I've got rid of all, all my stuff. I've got two 40 channel radios still left. Uh, I've got the old Planet. I'll, never, I'll always have one of them. The battery's a bit flat by the look of it. It's not very bright. I run that off a car battery, charged off my solar panel. Lasts for about three or four or five days. Um, got this one, old Aria CBX with a, a soft squelch mod. I think that's somewhere on my channel. Um, little tiny burner. Um, B1, B150 is a target. Uh, and that's about it, a couple of metres and that's all I've got. So till I, till I get a, a radio that I've not uh, reviewed before, um, there's no point in making any videos really. So anybody who's see, still subscribed to my channel, thank you very much for that one. And for the people that, that have asked about my health and well-being, thank you. Thank you for that. It's nice to know that somebody's interested. Um, I will be making some more videos regarding CB radio equipment when I, when I get something that I've never had before. Um, 11 days ago was a year since, since I had my heart attack and um, fortunately one of my tablets stopped that I had twice a day. It was causing me a few problems. I can't remember what it was called. It, it, anybody who's interested, um, I shouldn't think you will be. It's, a bit, it's all boring stuff. But um, when you have a stent fitted, some people or most people are given this tablet. Um, I think it's a blood thinning tablet. It may do other things as well, but uh, it caused me quite a lot of problems. Um, randomly coming out in um, very bad bruises, very, very bad bruises, what, what swelled up um, for no apparent reason. And I needed to go to the dentist and I didn't because... Uh, if, even if I blew my nose too hard, my nose would bleed and it would very, very likely trickle all night and it would cause me to stay awake half the night and then in the cavity of your nose right at the end you'd have a bloody great big lot scab in there and if you pulled it out then it'd start bleeding again but not bleeding as in drip, 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 just a little weep. So having a shave you had to be very careful and oh, it, it was a real pain. It was a real pain. I was glad when that finished. Uh, that finished about a month ago. Now never had a bruise since. So that's uh, you know, I'm not complaining by the way. I'm just uh, just saying how things are. So um, I've got a part time job, and I've been doing that for ooh, nearly six months now. Uh, handyman. Uh, it looks like a call centre, but it's not actually a call centre. Uh, there's three floors. In this place that I work in, 80% uh, women, uh, the odd fella here and there. Um, jobs range from tidying the backyard, pulling weeds up, changing toilet seats, changing lights, which is the most common thing I seem to do, uh, strip lights in the ceilings. Um, well, all sorts of things, fit shelves in kitchens. So, oh, but I've done all sorts since I've been there. Um, I quite like the people, well most of the people I work with, there's always the odd one that you, you don't get on with or you don't particularly like, but I'm sort of my own man. Um, I get a list of jobs come up, uh, it, it could be anything from a block sink to moving a fridge or delivering fruit upstairs to the workers. <laughs> Bloody dog here. Um, yeah, so I've been doing that for six months, part time, 12 till 4, five, five days a week. And a lady that works at our place is handed her notice in, so I'm going to be taking over her job. A bit of light cleaning work. So that'll increase my hours by 15 hours a week. So that'll be 35 hours a week. Um, 
Sadly, what I found was when I was applying for jobs, bearing in mind I've got experience in things because I'm 54, I've been driving forklifts in warehouses for ooh, 20 years, I've worked in car engineering places as well, but uh, I found that the jobs you applied for, when you put down you had a heart attack and what, what tablets you take and everything, uh, strangely enough you never got the job. Um, the W Department of Work and Pensions stopped me money a week after Christmas and considered that I was fit for work because I could get a, a mobile phone out of a carrier bag that I was carrying. I leant forward when I was being interviewed and got a phone out and um, that's what it said in the letter anyway. And I'm not for one minute saying that I, I'd rather be on the sick because £72 a week don't get you far in this country. So, uh, and I've worked all my life. So, um, yeah, I'm pleased to say, well, I didn't tell any lies, but uh, I didn't put the total truth down when I filled the forms in after my interview when I got the job. So, um, to try and keep myself or pretend I'm keeping fit, um, I, I bought a, a brand new mountain bike uh, probably about 10 weeks ago, 11 weeks ago now. I did already have a mountain bike, but I spent 550 quid on this one and I bought some new pedals for it. Um, the standard ones weren't very good, your foot slipped off them when it was uh, raining or when they were wet. Um, the handlebars, I put some slightly wider ones on. Uh, the, the handlebars were fine, but I put some slightly wider ones, 760 mil. What else did I change on the bike? I paid £550 for it from Decathlon in Coventry. Um, and it's quite a high spec one. I could have got ones what were a lot cheaper. But um, I don't go to these places where there's massive hills and big jumps or any of that. So... I decided a hardtail was good enough. Hardtail, anybody who doesn't know, means there's no suspension at the back. Since I've had it, I'm averaging about 16 miles a week. Um, my longest ride, I think, is 30, 15 miles, I think, is my longest ride in one go. Um, I tend to usually do about 10 miles, 10 or 11 miles. I'm going to 50 50% road, 50% the canals. And I got my first puncher today. <laughs> I've probably had about my 14th ride on it, or 15th ride, something like that, since I got the bike. Uh, all my rides are documented on Strava. Um, I go on Strava because you can't tell any lies, can you? Um, today I've had a really steady ride. I've only averaged 10 point something miles an hour today. Um, normally it's around a 13 or 14 miles an hour average. Uh, I think my top speed's about 33. But... Um, yeah, just, just, it's good for tracking your rides, you know, so that in six months' time I can find out how many miles I've done in six months. I plan to carry on riding in the winter. Um, I ain't cared how cold it is, whether uh, I've been out, I've done 11 miles when it's been throwing it down. I did, I did think it didn't do me any good afterwards, mind you. I, I had a cold for about four days afterwards. But so, my state of affairs is, I am working. Uh, minimum wage is not... It's not uh, nothing to write home about. Um, I am going to get 15 hours a week extra uh, in the next month. So that will be good with Christmas only being, I don't know, three months away. We can't complain about the weather. It was 22 degrees when I went out on my push bike, which is not bad for September the 17th. Um... I'm still taking four tablets a day. I think I'm going to have to take them for the rest of my life. I, have, um, I don't know the names of them all. I have an aspirin and another one in the morning. And then I have um, two tablets at night. Uh, a statin, Astra of a statin and um, another one. I can't remember what that's called either. I've got a terrible memory when it comes to tablets. So I have four tablets a day. Like I say, one of them stopped. Uh, I, get, I get odd days where I, where I get mild chest pains here and there. Um, there's nothing I can do about that. So all I do now is try and be sensible with my diet. Packed in, I packed in smoking for a year. I did have one fag. I've got to admit this. My son came. One of my sons came round, and um, I says, "Oh, let's have one of them fags, son." And uh, he says, "Oh, don't don't have a fag, Dad. You might start again." But strangely enough, I sat there and had a whole fag, one fag, uh, smoked it. And thought, oh, I'm not missing that much. 
I never wanted one since, so that's fantastic considering I was on about 50 a day. Uh, I'm on my vape thing, I've still got my vape thing, which is probably not good for you, but out of the two evils, it's probably better than the cigarettes. And I only spend £10 a week on this. I was spending about 50 quid a week on fags. Um, it's just money going up in the air, isn't it? So my plan of action is uh, just to carry on cycling as much as I can, even through the winter. I've got a little 125 behind me, a little 125, um, well it's not a moped is it, a very small motorbike, 125 thing, got off my son to get me to work and back on now and again. If it's not raining, if it's raining I'll go in my car. But um, there'll be a short video and it is short, it's five minutes, I have actually just uh, edited that, which I'm going to add on to the end of this one. And as I say, my plan of action is in the near future when Adrian or one of my friends comes across a radio that I haven't reviewed, which does happen. Um, they have had radios that I've never owned myself or never wanted to own, but, um, I don't, you know, um, there's not many people on anymore around here. There's, there's possibly, there's about nine people on intermittently. Some days you turn, well, the CB's on now, there's nobody on any channel. Uh, Nothing at all, not on any channel. Absolutely dead. Nothing. And in the daytime you can turn it on. Nothing. Um, of the evening time, about 8 or 9 o'clock, there's a few fellas what come on and uh, not, not many. And I chew the fat with the locals, but as far as the uh, midweek nets go, I'm not really that interested in that anymore. Um, you go in, give your call sign, they tell you what, what time you, they've logged you in and they've got your call sign. It's very formal and I just find it boring now and you don't tend to talk to them again after that. Just going, hello, blah, 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 yeah, we, 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 ten past eight in the log, blah, 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 oh, thanks very much. So I haven't even got a sideband radio anymore. I'm, I ain't really interested in that. I never really have been in the, the local networks, to be fair, because they're too formal and they don't have any conversations as such, so it's, that doesn't interest me. Um, when the skip starts flying back in, the long skip from America and etc., you know, good, good long distance skip, then uh, I'll, I'll, buy a, I'll buy myself another sideband or possibly a HF radio again. Um, we're a few years away from, from, from the peak of the... Uh, 11 year cycle, we're probably another, I don't know, possibly eight, seven, eight years away from that happening. So um, anything could happen in the next seven or eight years. So um, I'm not I'm not particularly fussed about having a 600 pound radio sat on the side gathering dust. Uh, I've spoke to Australia a couple of times. I spoke to nearly every state in America in the last 30 odd years that I've been on. Not being big headed, but I have, uh, even on small power. I spoke to a guy in New York in Buffalo once and I was only doing 5 watts. I was amazed he could actually still hear me. But um, but there you go. So um, radio is on the back burner for me at the moment. So as I say, when I get when I get some new videos and I'll be able to put some uh, some 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 new videos. What am I on about? <laughs> I've been driving for two and a half hours today from my weekend away so my brain's not functioning correctly. But uh, when I get some different radios I've never reviewed ever before on my channel, I will continue to make videos. But they'll be f few and far between, unfortunately. So um, so I, I can only apologise for that. Um, anybody who's interested in the mountain bike stuff, if I come across some, some new parts, uh, I might do a couple of short videos about that. Um, not everybody's cup of tea, I, I, I appreciate that. So I've just made this video basically to say, I'm still alive, I'm still kicking. Thanks thanks for anybody who's asked, I do appreciate it. Um, and on that note, following this video, you'll see a, a little bit down the canal on my push bike. And uh, So till the next video, everybody take care, 73s. Thanks for watching, I hope you haven't found it too boring. Take care everyone, bye for now.
down the canal having a steady ride not been on my bike for nearly a couple of weeks uh, I've been away for the weekend I wish I'd have took my bike with me but uh, not to worry I'm on the, uh, the B twin 560 so if it's a rock ride a rock climber or something 550 quid was it yeah 550 from um, Decathlon and I've so far done about 150 miles on it since I've had it that mud guard don't match anything that's got to come off I just stuck it on for the meantime but very impressed with the bike uh, 10 speed at the back two at the front the rock shocks TK30 forks Michelin wild grip R tires which will be okay in the winter um, change the handlebars put slightly wider 760 mil on got me uh, phone holder there look to record my rides on Strava uh, yeah I like it quite a lot 650b wheel size 27.5 inches 650b same thing SRAM X5 gears and uh, standard seat lovely and comfortable change the pedal there The original ones are okay, but there were like plastic nylon. But on when it was raining, your feet slipped off. So uh, yeah, pretty impressed. Won't be any good for uh, really rough places with big jumps because there's no. It's a hard tail. There's no rear suspension. But you ain't gonna buy one of them. A decent quality one for sort of 560 quid. That's for sure. I think this is uh, uh, near the most expensive B twin do being a hard tail they do do ones that are a hell of a lot cheaper but uh, yeah very very impressed with it got my bag there with spare inner tubes and bits and bobs in and on the trail down the old canal the sun's just setting and it's a bit hard to see where I'm going even with my new expensive glasses I'll say expensive 210 quid for a pair of what what's supposed to be sort of cycling glasses oh yeah a bit of a clever one there the swans look they're all uh, seem to be roosting up for the night this is on the Bedworth canal between Nuneaton and Bedworth I'm just heading towards Bedworth just gone past the, the bridge number 19 it's a bit rough around the corner there it's quite rough and um, rutty the actual uh, towpath is when you get towards Nuneaton it gets uh, it improves and it goes really good till you get towards Addiston but, uh, right up into Nuneaton Peaceful down the canal, look. 